In this lecture, I'm going to introduce graphic user interface design using AWT, Swing, and the Object Draw packages. These are non-AP topics, and this is our first lecture on GUI that will lead to the AP Swing Labs. First, let's look at the graphic user interface packages for Java. The Abstract Window Toolkit also known as AWT, developed by Oracle, and the SWT, developed by IBM, and Swim by Oracle, and Java FX by Oracle. This is new. And an object draw package that's developed by Williams College. And the AWT Swim package is also part of the Java Foundation classes. And foundation classes is a popular term in the early days of Java. This AWT formed the basics for the GUI, and Swing is a more advanced version. And right here we have different components. We will discuss this later. And Java FX is a newer version that integrate all the functions they have and create a new package. But because both of them are not compatible, and our AP Computer Science Labs are more using those existing tools that's older version, the AWT and Swing. So we would, in chapters 11 to 13, focus on AWT and Swing. But Java FX, we will explain it in our Unit 6. Here is the relationship between AWT and Swing classes. AWT is the first GUI package come out, so it inherited from component and object classes. And it comes with component, container, and the windows. And Swin is a later edition of the AWT with some new components for containers and windows. So therefore, AWT is the groundwork and Swin is on top of it. For Swing package, it all has a J to make a difference between the Swing and the AWT. So Swing is a lightweight enhanced version of AWT. Swing, SWT, AWT are considered one integrated environment. SWT is a third-party version of AWT from IBM. Java FX is a new, totally new replacement for all of these. But right here, we focus on AWT Swing and the object draw. Here is the string class hierarchy. The basic AWT is over here, and what added on is these swing components. But swing also have the similar component for the AWT, for the containers. But you can choose either using AWT or swing if there is some overlap of functions. And the runtime environment for AWT and Swing is right here. Your Java app or application calls the Java virtual machine that access the AWT object or Swing object and then access the hardware via the functions in operation system. And this one is the overall picture for Swing and the AWT. And basically, a GUI contains of three components. One is a layout package, one is containers, and the other one is a node. Node is for the basic elements like button, checkbox, choice, label, list of text inputs. And container are something that can hold the nodes or hold some other container. Say you have a panel or applet or window frame. And AWT has some version for container and components, and Swing is more focused on the container. And the layout is trying to help you to lay out the components or containers. Here is the Swing containers, which starting with J, the object hierarchy. It divided into two parts, one for Windows and one for J components. Windows are the dialogues or frame. Components are something that can hold different nodes. An overdraw package 
is from Williams College. The website is right here. You can access this website. And then I will show you how to install the object.jar file and also the object.jar invoker blue extension. Let's go for blue to check it. Before we do that, I do have some more information for the ACM extension of the object draw and the sample program and textbook location. And on the right hand side, here are the listing for the classes for the object draw package. As you can see, they based on the AWT and the swing and develop a more advanced drawing function for the AWT and swing. So AWT is the GUI basic. Swing on top of it give you the better component. And the overdraw give you a well-cooked drawing mechanism using these two packages. Let's go to project. To install the object draw library, you need to come to this website www.bluej.org extensions slash extensions.html Over here, you can find the overdraw library and the overdraw invoker.jar First, you can click on the overdraw library and right here, it has the download version for the overdraw v1.1.2.jar Click it and download it Then you should show it in the folder. After the download, you can see it on the download directory using the show in folder. Then you need to change the name to remove the version number and keep it as a object draw. And then you should copy. Then you should find a library directory and you like to store the .jar file in and pass on it. Then you have this object draw downloaded. Then you have put the object draw library in the right directory. After that, you need to come to your BlueJ tool, click tool, click preference, click the library, and then you will find right here you add And then try to locate that, that jar file. Right here, click it and open. And I already installed one version, so it's shown over here. Then it is included in the library path for project. After that, you also need to download the object draw invoker.jar. Click on it, you will download one version. I already downloaded one version. After you download this object draw invoker.jar, let's pull up, then try to install that, that jar file in this directory as suggested in this installation guide. And then in your download directory, identify this object draw invoker.jar file, click copy, and then come to this BlueJ installation directly click light and then go into extensions and then pass it here I already download one version and installed it here after the two library are installed it let's try this draw grid.java you need to invoke the BlueJ program and then on the Williams College website, I found this drawgrid.java. Let's copy it. And let's try to new an applet, create a new applet named drawgrid, and open it and pass that internet file over here, but remove the unnecessary default setting by BlueJ. After that, let's compile it. When you want to run it, don't run applet or new draw grid. Let's run controller. 
And then once it come out, click on mouse, see, start to throw something. That's because this draw grid on mouse click, it will start to draw some line, vertical line and horizontal line. And this is the feature for this draw grid. And we can keep doing it. And if you run by a new draw grid, it won't work. Or you run April. It won't work. So you have to use this run controller to run. And this gives you an example of importing some library in and try to create object using those objects classes available in objectdraw.jar file. And this is one example of inheritance. We'll come back to this object draw library very often later. Thank you.